Hi, this is Summer with Summer's Tips and Stitches, and I'm still on spring break. Um, I'm not necessarily sure of the order and release of any of these videos. <clears throat> I'm trying to record a few of them ahead of time so that when the school um, starts back up, I'm not completely off because the last two months of school are coming right up after the spring break. Okay, so I'm making some of these on spring break and I'm gonna, I think today is the 20, 20, 21, 22, 23. Actually, I don't think I had a video up for you guys yesterday, so I'll put one up right away after I'm done making this. And then tonight I'm supposed to go online and choose the winner of my spring break giveaway, which I cleverly hid in a video. The reason I like to do that is not because I'm a hater, but because I really like the people that watch every video of mine or the every, because you know, I have almost 20,000 subscribers, but 1.2 or sometimes 2.2, anywhere between one to 3,000 people actually watch the videos, which is great, I'm not being a complainer. But I'm just saying if I title a video giveaway, some people solely search giveaway titles just to get the giveaway. And I just feel like the people that watch the channel and all that regularly, if they're watching a regular one of my videos and then the giveaway's in there, I feel like that is how I wanna do them. <laughs> so anyway, if you hadn't seen the giveaway video, maybe go watch a few of the past videos and you might have time to get one. Okay, so anyway, this video after all that chatting about spring break and how many videos I'm making or not, is about this super cute backpack I bought. I'm gonna hold it up in the air. Maybe I should zip it up for you guys. So, I'm a teacher and I carry stuff to and from work all the time. Um, even if, here, here's it all cute and zipped up. This is called, in this video here for you guys, it's looking gray. But for me, it's kind of a pinkish color, a light pink, a pale pink. But like I was saying, I'm a teacher, some of you know, and I carry stuff to and from school all the time. Um, partly if there's some kind of, because we're in Wisconsin, there's some kind of crazy snow day. You know, I need to be prepared. Let me, I think this camera's too high. There we go. Um, I need to be prepared if there's a snow day. But also, when you're a teacher, I don't know what it is. Even if you do no work, you feel like you have to carry stuff back and forth. So up till now, I have been using a black backpack on one of these like little airport handles that you pull up and you drag behind you. Um, it's been good. I'm going to, I'm not going to lie. Um, I did bust up one of the wheels uh, going around the corner. Sometimes, especially in Wisconsin, it's icy and snowy. And so dragging that around has, it's not difficult, but it hasn't been smooth. Um, so this is called Crosser, K-R-O-S-E-R. -E and I just wanted to show you, I wanted to put this in here, a few features and put a link in the description if you were possibly interested in purchasing this. So I carry this to school. I always have one big water bottle on here. This has my um, Plexus Active in it. It's a water with Active. And on this side, usually I have my tall, skinny Plexus pink drink bag because I, I drink that on the way to school and then in the morning when I'm like coming in, whatever. So I usually have two drinks on either side. I will say the one on this side is a lot smaller. Um, on the back, here is the backpack feature. Now, when I was reviewing these backpacks online, somebody said, and I don't want to misquote them, that they are kind of a big person and they wore it with a back, with a winter coat and these straps were too short. Now, I am also considered a big person. I want to say like in the size 16 range. Sorry, y'all, but that's the truth. And um, I wear this with my winter coat which is not an extremely fat winter coat. I mean, fat size, but not like really, really bulky, but it's a winter coat. And I have these extended this far with this much extra. And I have um, larger bosom. 
in the front. And I do not have any problem at all with these straps. So I don't know, I'm not trying to say anything about that other person. Maybe they're bigger, which they very well could be, or maybe they have a very, very big winter coat. But I do not have problems with these straps. I really like them, I have this much room, I can get bigger, right? Um, the other really cute thing that I like about this is there's handles here. So you can wear it on your back or you can carry it with your hand. You cannot put your arm through. See that? That's, this part right here won't go in there. <laughs> but I can carry it from here or put it on one shoulder or two. Okay, so then I usually unsnip this part. And this is the part that opens up. So you can see it opens up nice and big and rectangle. Now, this is everything that I carried for spring break. The other thing that I can't that I can show you here is there is a pocket right up here and I have hordes of pens in here. I have a little tiny notebook in here. I have a post-it packet in here. I have this weird contraption that I bought a couple years ago that you could plug this into a laptop or a Chromebook and then you can have that many ports for more headphones so like five kids could share it. I don't know why I'm still carrying that around. And then when I say like a horde of pens, this many, this many pens all jammed in here. So that's about how big this front pocket is. I also frequently will have a pair of reading glasses shoved in there. Okay, so that is the outside pockets. Two water bottle pockets, a big one and a skinny one and a pencil one. Also in here is this little doohickey which you can plug a USB into here. That's the rectangle one that is attached to a battery pack and you could probably put it in this side pocket if you wanted. And then on the inside here is, um, I haven't even unwrapped it yet. Can you see this is a mess of cords and you could charge whatever you want, your Apple or your Android. I'm gonna take this out since it's empty. Side note though, look at one of my little kids gave me from school. It's a knitting Yeti. How cute is that? He brought that to school. He's like, Mrs. B, I got this at a birthday party. And he had it in a little Ziploc bag labeled Mrs. B. How cute is that? They're such cuties, the kids are. So inside of this, it looks really slim when you hold it up like this, but I have a lot of riffraff in here, okay? So the first thing that I, I hoard these up for my second graders, we put this in the math center because they can make cubes in all three dimensional shapes. You can get these for three bucks at Target. I love them. Maybe I'll look online to see if I can find some in Amazon because if you have little kids, you'll love it. So then in here, and I'm not gonna show you everything. I have this big chunk of stuff. If you remember a while ago, I did a video on my teacher planner. I can link that in the description. Some papers I was supposed to grade over spring break. <laughs> um, a map, some just folders and riffraff, okay? Teacher riffraff. Then in here also I have some little things. Um, another post-it, a card, you know, just some little, and a devotional that one of my teacher friends writes, okay. Um, also in here I have the cord for my Chromebook. And then in here is a Chromebook pocket, which I'm gonna take this out. Okay, and show you better in here. There is a big Chromebook pocket there. This is the size of my Chromebook for school and it fits in that big pocket with plenty of room. Then they have something that they call the tablet pocket or iPad. So this is the Chromebook and then here's another one. So like if you had an iPad or some other kind of device. I don't, I just have my stuff in here for differential teaching, um, differentiation. Okay, I've been, that was my goal, my academic goal this year at school is to read that, to be able to diversify my lessons, side note. Okay, then on this side, as you can see, maybe there is a pocket, a zipper thingy, and another that you could probably like slide your cell phone into. Do you see that stuff? And then here's that charging port. So this backpack is amazing. I'm gonna repack it while I talk to you guys about the price. I'll put a link in the description. 
I did do a lot of research on reading the reviews that other customers wrote before settling on this. I think I was looking at approximately five different backpacks before I settled on this one because I wanted something that was cute. I wanted something in not in leather. Now, if I were fancier, maybe I would have wanted leather, but because I'm a teacher and I have three kids at school and this rides around in the back of my car, I wanted a kind of material that looked nice but could be wiped off. So in case my coffee or my drink splashes over the edge, I can take a bleach wipe or a wet wipe and wipe this down. And I say, you say, what, a bleach wipe? But yeah, that's what somebody said in the description. She said she wiped it down with one of those Clorox wipes and she it didn't ruin it and it kept it clean. So, because you know the bottom of bags sometimes get real dirty. So that's why I chose this material. It is not leather. It is kind of like a canvasy polyester. See here? Um, and this bag was $24.99. Now I will tell you, if you're like, oh my gosh, I need to have that bag. This is one of those items on Amazon that's price point fluctuates. If you ever buy anything on Amazon, you'll notice that, that sometimes they'll have an item at, I don't know, let's just say they have this item here, $24.99. And then a couple weeks later, it's $29.99. And then uh, a little while later, it's $20.99. I don't know how and when they decide based on maybe their inventory. I know that because sometimes I'll look at Amazon when I'm bored and I'll put items in my cart and then I'll get a message that says um, an item in your cart is no longer at that regular price. I got this little square that's bothering me. Okay, so this I did buy for $24.99. Um, I really love it. Like I said, there was pro this is a light pink and there's probably like eight to 10 different colors. And then I don't believe I got the choice of um, accent hardware. Gold is what you get. Okay, so I just thought I would let it, you know to make a video if you're a teacher. This might be a nice little craft bag as well. Um, I would say it's not made for crochet. This is clearly a, a bougie backpack. That's really what it is. Um, it's probably for high school or college kids or maybe even teachers, bougie teachers. But yeah, that's this bag. I'll put a link in the description to this bag. Um, I can put a link in the description to my planner video. I, I put it out in like September. As you guys see, I'm having a horrible hair situation. My hair grew out from my cute style and I'm waiting for my hair appointment and it's spring break. And I curled it today, which probably was a bad decision because look at it, it's all like... Anyway, cute backpack. That's what this video is about. You could use it for a project bag. It has a little charging port. It's wipe off of wipe offable, meaning if you spill your coffee on it or set it on the ground. And this one's in pink. I'm actually thinking about buying one for my sister in a light gray color because that's more my sister's color and I know she'll like it and it's her birth well, it was her birthday. And I haven't bought her anything yet. I suck. It's just that, I don't know. I don't know why I keep putting, well, I will tell you why. Side note, the rest of this video is pretty much if you're just watching for that bag. My husband's credit card got hijacked. I'm not kidding you. He's got an idea of when he thinks it happened, a certain restaurant, which I'm gonna let remain nameless. Um, he was checking out through the drive-thru and um, it's a new restaurant for our town. And so, because it's new, they have a lot of people from other franchise restaurants, whatever, helping train and work people. Okay, so somebody who did not sound like they're from our area. I'm not trying to be judgmental, but I'm just saying from their accent, we could tell they're not, they're not a youper, okay? <laughs> uh, so, I mean, you can tell who's from Wisconsin and who's not, right? So anyway, it wasn't a local person and, um, they took his credit card to make the payment and they said, I'm having a problem, I need to go in the back. And they went into the back. And took my husband said he felt like it was a really long time and then they came back. And then shortly after that, like three to six days after that incident, there was a charge on our card for Buffalo Wild Wings, which we did not use and they used up all of our points. Now, 
to Buffalo Wild Wings credit, they gave us back all those points. Also, some charges were made at Walmart. Some charges were made at, I can't remember where else, Amazon. Anyway, a significant number of charges were being popped up. So because of that, my husband canceled his credit card, obviously. He, we had to monitor our account to see who keeps trying to charge us for things, which they still do. But we changed our credit card on Amazon. And for some reason, it just keeps defaulting back to one of the previous expired cards. It's having a hard time accepting that a new card needed to be the primary card. And so every time I feel like I go into Amazon to buy something, it accidentally reverts back to one of those old cards and my purchase gets declined. And then because the Amazon account is linked to my husband's email and he works night and he sleeps days, like a day later, he'll be like, oh, you tried to buy something on Amazon. It's always a hullabaloo. And whenever anything is a hullabaloo, I tend to procrastinate. I don't know, it's a weird personality trait of mine. If it's easy and I know I can do it quick and easy and successfully, I'm fine with it. But if it tends to be some kind of hullabaloo, like I have to log in, I can't remember my password, is it linked to here, do I need to do that? You know, I always end up dragging my feet. And so right now, my husband probably loves it because I like to order from Amazon because we have a distribution center nearby. And I'm not kidding you. We sometimes get things the next day. They have ordered up our preferences and the things that we like and don't like. And they've got it at that distribution center. I'm not kidding. And like, so last night, yesterday, like maybe two o'clock, we wanted some room darkening shades. They're set to deliver today. And then the other day, Maddie got a hamster. I know big news that YouTube world does not even know. And we ordered a little, she wanted a little playpen for the hamster to run around, possibly escape. I know. And, oh, you guys do know because I put pictures of Sprout at the end of one of the videos. Anyway, we got this little playpen mat for the hamster. It was $14.99. And that came the next day as well. <laughs> so my husband's probably thrilled and he, maybe he's secretly changing the credit card information because it's quicker to, e to e order something on Amazon than go to Walmart. No, not really. Walmart's very close, but it feels like that. And I don't have to drive there and I don't have to try to fix this hair to be seen in public. You know, I just go onto my phone. Doo -doo -doo -doo. It'll be here tomorrow. It'll be here two days from now. And my life is so fast that one day, two days, I don't even realize it. So anyway, that's my Amazon purchase. I bought that. I've been using it school for two weeks. I love it. So if you guys are interested in a backpack that's wipeable, easy to carry, has nice straps, has a lot of pockets, and you are just in the market for one, I'm going to recommend that one. Um, so far, though, like I said, I've only used it two weeks. I have not had any seams ripping. If anything in it, I think at this point, is damaged, it's going to be from normal wear and tear. Nothing on it came damaged, and nothing broke within the first couple weeks. You know how you'll get something, and the next day you'll pull on it, and the seam comes off? None of that kind of stuff's happening. If anything is damaged, it's going to be on normal wear and tear, which I think is good. And like I said, I bought it for $24.99. But, and you can get a smaller bag. This is the medium size. You can get one for a little bigger. So price point fluctuates. So like if you're changing from the dusty pink bag and you want to get the charcoal, you and if they don't have it in the medium and they bump it up to the large because they have three different sizes, pay attention to that. Because I was switching to a darker pink and I wanted the largest bag size they had and when I switched to the darker pink, the more pinky one, it changed it to a cheaper price. I thought, oh, well, that's awesome. And then I realized because they had to switch it to a smaller size. So pay attention to the size, the price, and the color. Okay, y'all, that's the end of this video. It's still spring break, so I'm loving that. Thanks for liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for sharing my videos. And until the next video, happy crafting. Bye.